Hi, this is Leslie Langnau, Managing Editor at Design World Magazine, and we're here today at MDNM East in New York, and I'm here with John Good of 3D Printing Unlimited. And John, you were showing me something a little interesting here. Like, this was all made with FDM, but as we know, FDM tends to have a lot of stair steps when you're doing with this, but you've got this gorgeous finish here. How did you do that? Well, what we have is a gas tank. And imagine you're trying to go ahead and put together a concept car, something yeah. that's reflective of end use. Everybody's familiar with the stair stepping of FDM and other 3D print processes. And there's a perception that, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to hire an army of people with sandpaper and Bondo to go ahead and make it look literally mirror surface. But let me go ahead and show you. Do you see this side right here where those, you yeah. see the fine serrations? It's so smooth. And that's because we've used something that's right there at your local auto body scratch and dent. This is just a high fill primer from PPG. And it's a perfect example of using some of the available post-processing technologies that have been vetted over the years to go ahead and uh, enhance how people use additive manufacturing, 3D printing. That's amazing because so many people think that the post-processing has to be more involved. And here you've done just a very simple kind of a post-processing. It works. <laughs> it's great. Now we were talking also a little bit about inserts and how you can kind of pause the printing process and put inserts in. Sometimes people think of 3D printing only for prototypes, but it's progressing so far beyond that, where people want to go ahead and do fixturing, jigs, where they need more than just plastic. And so one of the things that we're showing today is the ability to go ahead and pause an FDM print and this is really only doable in an FDM machine. You pause the print and you go ahead and insert fasteners, electrical conductors, piano hinges, whatever the case might be, that will add to the utility of the part that you're making to make it appropriate for end use. So just a couple of examples. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn over here. Do you see this beautiful chair? This chair, people are used to sitting in it. It's fun, it's neat. Let's say I wanted my chair to be even fancier. I wanted a little reading light here. The ability to go ahead and pause your print and literally run a conductor inside the print to go ahead and have the wire encased within your print. This is an example, you know, as it relates to furniture, but there's many, many examples of this related to jigs, fixtures, test stands, where you need a combination of mechanical fit, electrical fit, fasteners, and the good news is you can go ahead and incorporate all those facets into an overall added manufacturing strategy. Great. Thank you so much, John. Appreciate the sure, information. My pleasure.